What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. My name's Ryan. Today is gonna be kinda cool. Going out with one of my buddies today, uh, Adam Bartusek. I'll introduce you to him in a second. I'm sure you've seen him before. Um, we're doing a little bit of a deal today. We're fishing for big fish. If you've seen Sam Sobey's channel, we're doing a thing called The One. Um, we're just gonna go out today. We're kinda fishing different waters. Definitely check out his channel. Everything's gonna be posted on there, but I'm gonna shoot a video today too. So, getting out on the boat. We just I just dumped Adam in. Uh, just walking down to the dock right now. So, we're about to get on the water and I'll see you out there. We'll explain a little more about what we're doing and where we're at. All right, peace. All right, we just made it out on the water. Just like first look around. We've never even been here. Neither one of us has been on this water. We've looked at some maps, that's pretty much it. Um, Basically on the way here, Adam told me the three words that I really wanted to hear. It's got bigs. And uh, seriously, we're super hyped. Uh, this water looks a little bit dirty, like it's got a tinge to it. That type of water feels like any cast you could be a hero and just catch a magnum. So we're gonna get out here, just graph around a little bit, see what we can find. All right, Adam, talk to me, give me your thoughts. I'd really like to find some rock, but I don't know, in southern Minnesota, it feels like sometimes you get in lakes and either there's a ton of rock or there's zero rock. Um, so we're going to find out pretty quickly. Honestly, there's not a lot of points and stuff in here, so that kind of might be the problem. There might not be a lot of structure in here. And if there isn't, we're going to end up flipping all day. But either way, I mean, we're going to be looking for a real big. But uh, water's 67 degrees. It probably cooled off a little bit last night. It's supposed to be hot today, though, so... I don't know, they should be eaten. I guess we'll see. I have no idea what to expect other than I've heard there's bigs in here. And uh, DNR kind of says there is too. But I guess we'll have to find out for ourselves. All right guys, just rolled up on the first spot. We scanned a bunch of stuff, found a couple little rock spots we think could play. So uh, we're gonna get, I mean, we're just junk fishing, honestly. I think I got like eight rods and something different tied on everything. Adam's pretty much doing the same thing. He's gonna be pulling rods out like crazy and we're just gonna get out there and just see if we can get a couple of bites. But we marked a lot of fish and just a sick amount of bait. So hopefully something will play, but we're gonna pull up on this first rock point and see what's up. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Is we just rolled up on the first spot. We made like 10 casts. Look at this. Adam just cracked a stud. Dude. Choked a jig. Look at that thing. Just gagged it. Oh. It's a good fish, too. That's a stud, man. Oh. Oh, I thought it was so much bigger when it jumped. Oh, it looked like a five, six pounder Dude, when it's it jumped. Like, it's all, it's over four, though. For yeah, sure. for sure, over four. Heck, pull Boom. that thing up, dude. It's a what good a one. Stud. Four pounder. Yes. Boom. There we go, baby. First one. <laughs> Give me some. There we go. Yeah, dude. I said too. I was like, God, I got hot. Yeah, seriously. It just kept following it. Something. But yeah, that was the first spot. Literally like 10 casts into the day. Just cracked a good one. So, Get all right. We're home. getting back after it. Up here. Yeah, I just got popped. Oh, really? Oh, he just came back. Let him choke that thing. What is going on here? I feel like we're in the twilight zone right now. Like they're just showing us giants. And they just there's, won't play. There's literally 25 pounds sitting on this spot right now. Just... There's a good something. Oh yeah, dude. If this is a bass, it's big. This has got to be a pike, dude. Oh my God, dude. Is this snapper? I don't know. Giant. Oh, it's a carp. Holy oh, shit. Oh, my God. You want me to net it? Or how do you want it? Uh, Did he eat it? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, a big sucker. I think it's got to be a carp, dude. Dude, he, did he eat it? He ate it. What? That's not what I've seen swimming around. No, no, definitely not. All right. Get... <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Please. All right, guys, we've been seeing all these big fish just like surfacing, and 
I just bowed up when we thought for sure like seven pounder, but turned out to just be a big old bugle mouth. Look at that thing. And I don't know, it was hooked right under the chin. I'm pretty sure I probably just snagged it, but oh, dude, I got my heart going. I thought for sure it was a big, but I'm gonna get him unhooked and just get him back. Oh. Alright, see ya. <laughs> that was crazy, dude. I got my heart going. I thought for sure it was a giant. <laughs> dude, you thought it was too. No, I did, it, I did. Dude, it looked, it looked well, freaking big. Flash and I was like, yeah. that's an eight pounder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Alright, well, we'll see if we can catch some of these. We're like seeing them surfacing. They're just kind of like cruising around this dock and everything, but I'm not really sure what the deal is. It's like, I don't know if they're sunning or what's going on, but. We're just gonna keep fishing and uh, see if that jig's still gonna play for us. Which I've fished a couple other lakes similar to this, like in Wisconsin, that like didn't have weeds, very little rock, and it was just a straight up dock deal, but there was bigs, like, uh. Yeah, because they don't have a ton of vegetation. There's nothing for them, yeah. But they have a ton of spawning ground, so if they're in here, they just, that's what they do. Mm-hmm. And that's why I think that south shore will just be good because it's shaded. Yeah. Pull out a white swim jig and a black AT jig and start going to work. We'll find them. If we go shallow, we're going to catch fish. Yeah, exactly. I just don't know if they're going to be the big ones. But the fact that we're not getting them out here makes me feel like, yeah, they're going to be there. casting right at those waypoints right now. That one? Yep. That's good? Nope. Not bad. Not bad, but it's not giant. But it's Good one. Fish. It's one. There you go. Hell yeah. All right. First one on the jig right there. So far, all of them have come on a football head. But look at how pale that fish is, too. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right. Get this one back. See ya. Maybe I did grab bass. But there's no, I mean, they're hitting it aggressive. It's not like. It's still, I'd, I'd love to know what the primary forage is in here. Cause we have not seen, a, like we've seen bait scan, but like I've felt bait. Yeah, not I like mean, bluegills not like machine like, gunning bluegill, you. Bluegill, bluegill, bluegill. It's like. Yep. Throwing at a dead sea and all of a sudden it goes, oh. Right, so if it's like a bunch of crappie or what they're on. Or with a stream connected, they could be on shiners or creek chubs. Or yeah, who knows? There could be a mess of stuff in here for them to eat. Like, I don't get the vibe that it's a mega crayfish lake. No. But they love a jig. Yeah. Probably because the crayfish that are in here, like, they Second get off of the one lives. rock that's there. Second They're for their lives. <laughs> Got him? Yep. That Adam is big. on. Nope. Got one though. Heck yeah. Another one on the jig. Another on the jig, baby. They got a lot of heart out here and they hit really hard. Yeah, dude. Okay, maybe we can catch a couple more out of here. Maybe we need to work it a bit quicker. Yeah, maybe we're just going too slow. I don't know. It's a solid one. That one's chunky. Yeah, that one's got some gut on it. Got a belly. That's, this one's built like a bit better. Heck yeah. That's a bit better. All right, maybe we're figuring something out. Sayonara. That water is so cold. I want to jump in. Um, we, can we catch a six now so I can jump in the water? Yeah. <laughs> I real quickly, I'm going to tie on a swing head. Do it. Yeah, something you can reel like I'm a three quarter. Reel it along the bottom. All right, so Adam just caught a pretty good one. It was probably like, I don't know, three and a half or something. and. It was really weird. He was actually just like reeling the jig in and it just smacked it. So we're going to try maybe just reeling a few things. We thought maybe we just, they shut off or whatever, but that was our first bite since the last one and it was doing something totally different. So we're just going to try that. And then, uh, then we're going to head shallow and see if we can beat him up on like some docks or some wood or something. All right, we made like our first legit move here from kind of an offshore deal. We're just, we're gonna commit to going shallow for a while. 
The whole, like, that last school we were on, we drove back over it, Adam graphed it, gone. The school was gone. We thought maybe some of it was rock. It was all fish, and they were all gone. So we think that a lot of the bait might be shallow. We just rolled up on this stretch of wood that just, <laughs> like, I'm literally just, like, salivating looking at it. it I think it's going to be totally lit. I think we're just going to go in there with some jigs, just skip around. It's overhanging. Like, look at this stuff. You can see it's, like, all overhanging, shade line and everything. So we're just going to get in there and go to work. See if we can find. <laughs> yeah, I'll just catch me another carp. <laughs> Big and giant, giant, giant. Get the net, dude. Holy cow. He's not hooked good. It is freaking stud. Oh, oh wow. look at that thing, dude. Oh. That's a good one. Are you kidding? That's a pig. All right, get the camera, dude. I'll get, I'll get the scale out. I was like carp. <laughs> I was so sure. Dude, his eye is like out. I know. It's look at that. Way. All right, guys. Literally, I just bumped a carp and we were like, oh, I'll throw back in there and probably hook another one. And look at what just jacked it. The thing is a giant, but look how thin it is. Just anorexic skinny. I bet it's only a four and a half pounder, but it's got the head of like a six and a half. Just choked a chatterbait too. Look at that thing. Got a gross <laughs> eye. I mean, too. look at its eyes like out of its head. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's see what it weighs. It's an old fish. Dude, seriously. Dinosaur. Dude, honestly, not even a four pounder. Wow. Look at that. That's three so... 392, but I bet that fish is 20 inches long. At least. <laughs> That's longer than the one I caught last week. Seriously, man. I mean, it should be a giant, but it is just so messed up. It's got like stuff all over its side. <laughs> I mean, that's an 18 inch right there. Oh yeah, that's probably a 21 inch fish. But look at that eye, dude. Frankenstein fish, holy cow. All right, I'm gonna release it right now. This fish is in not great shape. All right, guys, just jumped off. Going to get the trailer right now. Adam and I are bouncing. We're going to a different lake. This one was actually pretty sweet. We caught, I don't know, like our best five probably went like 17, a little over 17 pounds probably. And uh, we got one more lake in this area. We're in like middle of nowhere, way out here in Southern Minnesota, but we got one more lake that we think could, uh, could be the juice. So I'm gonna jump in the truck. Go pick Adam up and we're gonna roll. All right, first lake, down. Lake number two coming at you. Guys, we just dumped into lake number two and uh, it looks a little different. This lake, you can taste it. It's freaking, there's a ridiculous bloom going on. I don't know if you can see how green that is, but it looks just rugged. Everything is just, just super pea soup green and uh, I don't know. I think we looked at some of the data for this lake and there is like supposed to just be a pile of largemouth in here. Uh, Adam's just been scanning around a little bit. We're just looking to see what we can find. The weeds seem super shallow. This lake is, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. It's way different than where we just were. I don't think we're going to be able to do any of the same stuff, honestly, but we're going to start super shallow and just start flipping wood. Um, I don't know. We found some slop. We might throw a frog around just see if we can get something going. But I think there's some giants in here. What do you think? Yeah, it smells like giants. It smells like crap here. <laughs> it just reeks. This is what I thought we were coming to when we were coming south. That other lake was weird because the water was really clear. This is just gross, and I love it. I love dirty water. So time to tie a black jig on and uh, go to town.
you can fish tons of shit that looks decent, but there's like, there's legit spots. There he is. Oh, got him. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's like not a dink. Uh, it's maybe like two and a half. Maybe a little bigger. Oh, those are the kind we're looking for. Look <laughs> how chunky he is. Just grabbed it too. I like Heck that. yeah. Boom. First right. one. Confidence. First one. Confidence, confidence, confidence. We needed that. Oh, we needed that. That dude, that thing's Boom. big. Look how tall it is. Yeah, just built. If we get like a four or five pounder. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sweet. Letting this thing go back into that. fish that rock pile. That's where I was heading to. Dude, the water's 77. Warmed up a whole 10 degrees today. He's just dragging it up, that stuff. I don't know what's happening right now. Not kidding, dude. No way. He was just like swimming toward you. Oh, it ain't small. Net? Yeah. I don't know. I didn't really get to see it that good, but it didn't look little. That was so weird, dude. You see my rod, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Big him. All right, coming around. That's one of the seven. Oh, big right there. Oh, oh big right there. Oh, big. <laughs> That's the biggest one we've caught today. You want me to get the camera? Yeah. Dude, that was weird, right? That's the way they've ate mine. Cause I was just like holding it. It was just weight, like it wasn't even moving. So we rolled up on that spot and just jacked this thing. It ate it so weird too. Like I, I felt the fish and it was swimming towards me. And then I just set the hook and it was just solid. So Adam netted it sweet. And it just, look at this. It just choked that jig. And uh, yeah, we're just fishing. We found some like rock stuff. Well, I don't even know if it's rock really. It's like just stuff <laughs> i don't know but there seems to be some fish on it and we marked them and we went back and caught them right away there she goes yes sweet nice boom <laughs> nice dude give me some hell yeah Look at how tore off, dude. Oh, there's, got you. there's teeth out here. <laughs> right? I mean, we're gonna catch one. I, catch I just don't know how big it's gonna we be. We catch big. <laughs> big. Big. Oh, big. Oh, big. Oh, yeah. Give it to him. Give it to him. I think it's like yeah. 15, 20 yards ahead. I mean, the one that I did. That's a big one. I saw that thing. Dude, this is a stud. Oh my god, dude. That's a big one. Did you see the belly on it? Yeah, dude, it's big. Stay pinned. Dude, this is a big fish. Oh my god, dude. Dude, this is stud. Get ready. That is a giant, dude. <laughs> That's better. That's what I'm talking about. I knew we'd get a big one over here. That is a stud. Oh. That's a big girl. Are you kidding me? Here. Look at that thing. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes. Should be. I mean, look at this tank. We literally just rolled back up to the weed flat where I caught that one before and had like one or two blow ups and then all of a sudden this thing just annihilated the frog like halfway back to the boat. And it is a stud. I mean, look at that fish, dude. It's just tall and thick. Heck yeah. Let's chuck it on the scale, see what she goes. Oh. Right. 
482. Yeah. Pert near five pounder. She needs a little more belly. Oh. It's all feeding. She'll get but that. But that is a stud fish. Look at that thing. Just tall. <laughs> all right, we're going to let her go real quick. Dude, this one's got those teeth on it, too. The ones I was talking about? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes! Boom, there dude. Let's go. get another one. We got like 20 minutes. Because the bait's not leaving. And anything deep's gonna slide up here and just. I could see having a wicked frog session on this frickin' 300 yards. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. Good. Ain't no baby. Oh, frickin' torqued my shoulder. I said the hook on that one. You getting the crap? Dude, that frog is gone. All right, another solid fish. Not bigger than the last one, but another one on the frog. <laughs> Seriously, could be the last one on the trip, but sick day. <laughs> Seriously. All right, guys, we just made the run back to the launch. We're gonna pull the boat out, but we had a killer day. Like, we cracked the fish pretty good, and that's just giant hunting. Like, you don't always catch those mega giants every time you're out, but uh, we found a couple lakes. I actually think both of these have some serious potential to hold freaks. I mean, absolute bigs. Like, in this area, you know, getting one in that seven pound range is pretty much, I mean, that's pretty much as big as they get. I mean, you hear about some eight pounders, but just getting one of those mega giants is kind of what our goal was. Uh, I mean, we caught between this lake and the other one, we probably caught about 18-ish plus, I don't know, probably close to 19 pounds out here and 17 plus on the other one. We had an awesome day, dude. What do you think, man? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Caught a lot of fish. I was really worried about the second lake after the first two hours, but uh, kind of figured out some weird stuff they were sitting on offshore and Pulled up to the good old coontail patch last light and uh, stuck a stuck a giant. So that worked out well. Yeah. So we're just gonna pull off right now, head back. We got a pretty good drive back up to the cities, so we're like <laughs> we're way south. But sunset right now, and uh, we're gonna get the heck out of here and go find some fish someplace else. Peace. <laughs>